We all know Adam and Eve is the one-stop shop for everything sexy. And now with my code Holly, you can get any one item for 50% off plus 10 free gifts. And you'll even get free shipping. So spice up your sex life at adamandeve.com, but only if you use code Holly. So give us your, you know, being a, a connoisseur of the pussy, mm-hmm. um, give us some advice on your the best methods to please a woman. Oh, okay. Well, in my personal opinion, every every person's body is different, right? And so every pussy is different. Some women like having direct clit stimulation where you pull the hood back. And other girls like it when the hood's down. Mm -hmm. Some girls like it on one side more than the other. Some girls like side to side. Some girls like up and down. Some girls like the scoop where you go from you know, the hole up to the clit and other girls don't like you to go anywhere near the hole with your tongue. Mm. So I think the most important thing is one to ask, get consent, have a nice talk about what they like, um, find out if they like it really soft or if they like it really hard because Mm -hmm. some girls use a lot of, let's say the Hitachi, you know, Mm -hmm. if you use a lot of magic wand, you're going to want a lot harder pressure Mm -hmm. on your vagina than if, you don't use that. Right. So, you know, I've had different girls that literally want you to feather their pussy, meaning just the lightest touch you can possibly imagine with your tongue and with your fingers and keep the hood over. And other girls want you to pull the hood back, press on their their pelvis, you know, like kind of where the bush is Mm -hmm. or where the bush would be while you're giving them direct clit stimulation. Mm -hmm. And other girls love penetration Mm. while you're doing that. So... If you put in your fingers while you're looking on the clit, that helps a lot because it keeps everything wet with your mouth, mm-hmm. and then you can find the G spot. Mm-hmm. So I guess my my biggest advice is have the conversation and have the time of exploration because mm-hmm. they might not even know if they like it hard, soft, somewhere in between. They mm-hmm. might not know if they like it side to side or up and down. Um, you know, like Angela White has has said that she really likes more of the flat tongue mm. than the pointed tongue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas Rather other girls really like the pointed tongue yeah. versus the flat tongue. They don't want it to feel like it's, you know, all over their pussy. They want that direct stimulation. Mm-hmm. And then once you find out what they do like, don't stop. Don't stop and be like, do you like that? <laughs> Keep the contact. Keep the contact all the way until your jaw feels like it's going to seize until they actually come. Mm. Because I think too often people will treat it like it's a dick, which needs kind of a lot of different techniques. You mm-hmm. know, you need to kind of be doing all this different stuff. But a pussy most often needs the same thing consistently for a long amount of time mm-hmm. until they finally can kind of overcome that, that mental barrier there and release so I don't know if I answered your question completely. I was actually just going to say, I feel like you just gave me the most detailed um, crash course in like eating pussy that like I've ever heard. Okay, good. Like you were very specific and detail oriented and most people just say like, oh, just talk to them or just listen to them. But you like all the different methods, like yeah. the different shape of the tongue. So I feel like that was that was super valuable. Oh, okay, good. Thank you. Yay. Well, thank you. My <laughs> audience thanks you. <laughs> good. Glad to be here for you. Let me know <laughs> if you need any more advice. <laughs> I mean, what do you do when, you know, there's, I mean, in the adult industry, we're so used to talking about um, boundaries and like consent and all that kind of stuff because it just comes with the job. But I think most people are, are very uncomfortable talking about specifics, what they like sexually. So if you're with someone who's like not comfortable, like having that discussion, do you mm-hmm. just kind of read their body language and stuff like that? I think if the person is not comfortable with talking about, I guess I've been pretty specific about oral, but in my history, it's always best to start with hands Mm. because it's a little less personal. Mm -hmm. They don't have to worry about, you know, if they taste good or Mm -hmm. they smell, you know, they're not quite as self-conscious about it. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really important about using your hands first and exploring their body with your hands because you can pick up a lot of cues on what feels good by using your fingers, 
you know, over their clit, over their hood, around their lips, around the opening to kind of get a feel for you. You do have to be in paying attention. Mm -hmm. You have to be paying attention to what their body does. And I'm talking about the little cues, like what they're doing with their thighs, what they're doing, if they're arching more, you know, if they're moving their, their clip, you know, to come up more, to go down more, you have to kind of read that. And you can find that special medium, that happy medium by using your hands first. And that's kind of how I've learned if they're not good with talking about it or if they don't even know, if you do the exploration with them and, you know, you're there, you're using your hand and then that way your your face is up here near mm -hmm. their ears, near their neck, near their erogenous regions to communicate with them and explore it with them so that they don't feel quite so like, oh, she's yeah. going there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't feel as abrupt. Right. And it can feel more like something you're doing together versus all of a sudden someone's like on, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. We all know Adam and Eve is the one-stop shop for everything sexy. And now with my code Holly, you can get any one item for 50% off plus 10 free gifts. And you'll even get free shipping. So spice up your sex life at adamandeve.com, but only if you use code Holly.